Hi everyone, I'm Devin Coombs and today I'm going to be covering just the two basic rules of accounting. You watch this video and I promise you, you're going to have some easy hacks to getting through your accounting course or just understanding accounting very quickly and some easy mnemonics. I am a CPA, I've been doing this for over eight years now, uh, so hold on to your seatbelt, this is going to be awesome for you. So what are the two basic rules of accounting? We need to have debits equal credits and assets equal liabilities plus equity. We're just Let's just talk about debits equal credits right now. I'm going to give you a really easy mnemonic and uh, just memorize this and you'll be able to always know what have debit normal balances and credit normal balances. A normal balance meaning what accounts increase um, through either a debit or a credit. I don't want us to get confused here. Debits just mean the left side, credits mean the right side. Don't think pluses or minuses yet, just memorize this mnemonic first. So I want us to remember dead and clear. After accounting, you might feel a little more dead inside, but at least accounting will be clear to you. <laughs> I know that's a little silly, but I want you to memorize this mnemonic. It will help you uh, memorize the normal balances of your accounts. So dead, D, debit, E, expense, assets, and dividends, or draw account. So all of our debit normal balances, accounts that increase with a debit, are, uh, are in this column. Expense, assets, or dividends. So that's it. So dead are our dividends. And then clear are our credits. Credit include liabilities, equity, and revenue. So it should be clear. The A is not included there just so it's easier to understand the mnemonic. Uh, but we just know dead and clear. These are our debits and our credits. Liabilities, equity, and revenue increase with a credit. Debits. Uh, include expense assets and dividends and those accounts increase with a debit that's it super easy memorize this right away and it will really help you with the rest of your accounting courses and your accounting career so let's go through a quick practice problem I'm always going to be using examples that I would give as tests in a college course uh, so I want you to be able to review these and apply them to either your homework or through uh, or to your work so I'm always going to make sure that they're extremely relevant to what you're doing. So uh, let's go over this. A company's first year of business, it had $25,000 in assets, $30,000 in expenses, zero in dividends, $10,000 in liabilities, and $20,000 in equity. What was the company's revenue for the year, and is it a debit or a credit? Now this can seem a little complex, and for a lot of students who first approach accounting, these word problems can seem a little overwhelming, but uh, I'm going to break it down for you on how you should approach it. We know that debits equal credits. That's always the case. Debits always equal credits. Assets always equal liabilities plus equity. So let's just bucket off our debits. We know the expense of $30,000 was a debit, the assets was a debit, and that we had no dividends. So our total debits are, is $55,000. Just knowing our debt mnemonic, we should be able to solve that uh, lickety split. And then go through our clear mnemonic. We know our liabilities are uh, our $10,000, our equity is $20,000, and we don't know our revenue, we're solving for revenue. So that we just plug that as our variable, and we know that our total credits are $30,000, our total debits are $55,000, so our revenue, uh, we're guessing there's no expenses here, so our revenue um, is equal to our net income, is going to be uh, $25,000. That's it. Extremely easy. So I want to make sure that anyone who goes through this would be able to solve this so please keep going through these slides make sure uh, to re-watch this as many times as you need to understand these concepts and memorize that mnemonic in our next video we're going to go over the accounting equation in detail and all of the accounts in the accounting equation as well as another practice problem thank you so much for watching please subscribe to this channel and i'll be sending out more of these videos in the upcoming weeks as well as other general business videos have a great day bye